tell people. Hey y'all, this is Kiara McCoy coming at you with another video. <laughs> and today we will be talking about. We're talking today about discovering God's purpose in your life. It's a lot here, y'all, so I don't know if we're going to be able to finish it all on this video, but we'll get through, we'll get through what we can. Let us ask the question first. What okay. do you think God's purpose is for your life? What do you think it is? God's purpose, that I think, are we're supposed to serve the Lord. We're supposed to love one another. We're supposed to draw, well, we can't draw people, but we're supposed to tell people about the Lord so they can accept him as their personal savior. And to add to that, we are to be that beacon of light in the world so that people can see Christ in us and, base, and hopefully desire to have that same type of, what they're seeing in us that mm -hmm. is Christ like. Yeah. You know? But this is this is this is the this is the part here. It says one of the biggest questions is not what is my purpose for my life, but what is God's purpose for my life. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of times people get that mixed up. It says, Are you confident that you know and are fulfilling God's purpose for for your life? But not everyone is. Mm -hmm. In our chaotic and unsettling world, it is sometimes hard to understand how God's purposes, God's purposes are being worked out in our lives. Mm -hmm. Whatever your case, in the midst of the confusion, fears, anxiety, and distractions of this present world, all of us can benefit from a firmer confidence that God is indeed working out his plans in our lives. Do you agree with that? Yes. I agree with that too. How can we gain this confidence? That's the question. How can you gain that confidence? To be sure, we can't work it out on our own through human optimism and positive thinking. Rather, it is produced by the Holy Spirit who works primarily through not, but not excuse, exclusively through Holy Scripture, which he uses to enlighten our minds and kindle faith in our hearts. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of times you got so much going in the, going on in the world today and a lot of us are being distracted mm -hmm. on what we're supposed to really be doing. Mm -hmm. Even I think it's, it's some, uh, even some preachers I think are being distracted and instead of doing uh what the holy scripture tell what the scripture tells them to do they're doing what they want to do so you know what I mean basically they're trying to put a spin on the word of god to try and draw people the way they feel like they need to draw people in that's something like that itchy ear. Yeah, and, and, itchy yeah ear right. And I think and, and I think in today's world we have a lot of I don't want to say a lot of pastors, but first of all, they haven't been called. Do you know what I mean? They haven't been called and they doing their own thing mm -hmm. instead of God's thing. And I think you know that's I mean? that that's a good um You know that I think that makes a lot of sense because God never asked anyone to change or to turn things to fit people of this age. People would say that, well, you got to change because the people that we were growing up in our days are not the same people. But God know who these people are. Mm -hmm. So why does if his word is his word, why do you need to change anything? To draw people. First off, it's Jesus that draws people to him. It's not us. It's not man. It's Jesus that does the drawing. 
That's why he said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. So God knows what is needed in order to draw people to him. Oh, wow. And a lot of times it is when they're going through a situation in their lives, they'll run to God or they'll run to Jesus at that point. But then when they get what they want, they're right back where they was. Yeah, I understand what you're saying, but we're living in the time Jesus is not walking the earth. You have to have faith. You know what I mean? Faith. You you have faith you, you in something that Jesus you don't is see. not walking the earth, but he still he still sends his word through the Holy, Holy Scripture. Spirit, right. He There's, still drops things in our spirit. Okay, let's, let's not just stay on track. All right. It Go says ahead. God's purpose for our lives has two major two major aspects. Mm -hmm. His purpose in the world to come, mm -hmm. and two, his purpose in the present world. Okay. And that's what we're dealing with now. The present. The present world. Mm -hmm. It says, these are intricate, intertwined, and it is important to approach our need for guidance in the present world, which seems so urgent. Mm -hmm. In the context of God's larger purpose, once we situate, once we situate ourselves in this framework, we can more regularly discern the discern and embrace God's purpose in the unique circumstances for our lives. Mm -hmm. Let's begin by re reminding ourselves that God of the Bible is a God of purpose, and not just a general purpose, but specific ones. He is the supreme, long-term, strategic planner of the universe. Uh -huh. He does nothing in random or haphazard manner. That's right. And his purposes extend from eternity past to eternity future. All right. All right. Encompassing not only the ultimate destiny of his creation, but our personal lives as well. Hmm. Interesting. God's purpose in the world to come. The first chapter of the Bible sets the stage. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Mm -hmm. God employs his immense power and wisdom to create the world in which he intends to work out his purpose. Hence of his purpose emerged in the verses that follow. From the opening scene, we can rightly conclude that such a God is able to fulfill his purpose. God himself ensures us of his of this elsewhere. Mm -hmm. I am God, and there is no other. I am God, Amen. and there is none like me. That's right. Declaring the end from the beginning and from the ancient times, things are not done yet. Saying, my counsel shall stand, and I will accomplish all my purpose. That's what it says in uh, Isaiah 46. 9 through 10. A number of other scriptures say the same thing and are meant to assure and comfort us. Hmm. But God is more than simply a, pers a pers purposeful or powerful creator. God is good. After demonstrating more of his sovereign purposes and power by calling Abraham, establishing his descendants as, a per as the people of Israel, and later deliver, delivering them from Egypt, God reveals himself in a deeper way to Moses on Mount Sinai, the Sinai. long mm -hmm. Mount Sinai, mm -hmm. the long past before him, and proclaim the Lord, the Lord a God, love and faithfulness. The psalmist and others would later affirm this saying, The Lord is good, his steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Psalms 105. God demonstrates his goodness and love, and more clearly in the gift of his son to the Savior of the world. What is the big plan that this good, loving, and powerful God is working out? Those who are reasonably familiar with the Bible will know the answer. But a brief reminder might be helpful. It begins with creation. 
Because hmm. God created everything. Everything. I'm talking about everything. And people get twisted. You know, you people, we live in a world now, people want to mix up. They want to mix science with God's purpose and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? And it and it and it gets it's distracting. When they start talking about dinosaurs and what came first, the egg or the the chicken <laughs> or the egg and all that kind of stuff. That's a distraction. Mm -hmm. And it gets and it gets people mixed up. You know what I mean? What so, do you think? Well, yeah, I guess, you know, I mean God gives them the knowledge in science mm -hmm. to create and I think that's where they what they forget that the knowledge and the understanding that they they do have of of life and science is it comes from God. They know what God has allowed them to learn and to know. But they are not God and they don't know it all. They think they do, but they don't know it all. Mm -hmm. So but God's purpose um goes a long way. There's a lot to his purpose in life, but one of his purposes is for us to, you know, go out into the world and to tell people about um, his son, Jesus, who came and died for us, who gave his life for us, and God who gave his only begotten son for us. That's how much he loved us, you know, and that we are the witness to others so that they can come and know and, and as And as also. Christians, we're supposed to praise God. Yes. Every day. Every day. You know, every day. Not just Sunday, not just in church, but when you wake up in the morning, that's a praise, praise all God. by itself. You need to be praising and thanking God all by, you know, all by itself. You know, thanking God for the things that he's done and for what he's doing in the air and your lungs and the his holy presence in the in the heavens and, you know, so much, you know. Yep, I agree with you. Now it says here, God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over every living thing that moves on the earth. That's Genesis 1, 27 through 28. In the pre-fall world in which there was no sin, suffering, or death, human beings were invited to live with God and to rule over his creation as, benev as benevolent, benevolent stewards. The, bibl the biblical story ends with the consummation according to its purpose, which he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in him things in heaven and things on earth. And once all things subjected to him, then the Son himself will also be subject to him who put all things in subjection under him, that God may be all, all in all. The picture is glorious. But, um, we're not going to be able to finish all of this. All right, okay, in the new world, as Jonathan Edwards describes it, divine love shall be brought to its most glorious perfection in every individual member of the ransom church above. Then in every heart that love, which now seems to put a spark, shall be kindled to a bright and glowing flame. And every ransom soul shall be as if we're, as they were in a blaze of divine and holy love and shall remain and grow in the glorious perfection and blessedness throughout all eternity. Wow. Yeah. Where did it go wrong? Or when did it start to go With wrong? Man, that's you know, it well, you, you know, well, like, because now everything is so chaotic. You got so many, you got so many distractions Nobody is focusing on God's word or what God word or what God words say. You know what I mean? Or what God is telling us to do. Everybody, not everybody, but most people want to do their own thing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Even even a lot of Christians, you know, they want to do their own thing instead of what God told them to do. You know what I mean? You got people that 
higher well, up in church. It started. It started back in the garden. Yeah, yeah. With Adam and Eve and the serpent. So, mm -hmm. and it still lingers on today. You know. Yeah. So y'all, we're gonna have to end this right now. And when we when we get back to this, we're gonna talk about God's purpose in the present world. That's gonna be our next uh, our next conversation. Mm -hmm. What you think? All right. Cause we over we went over a little bit, but that's all right. We went over a lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, as all we right, always say, I love you, and God loves you. And so do I. And if negativity comes knocking at your door, what do you do? Send it back where it came from. It doesn't belong to you. Only good vibes over here. Peace. Peace out, y'all. See you on the next video. Yeah. Okay. Like, comment, and share. But and we, subscribe. We need you to subscribe to the channel. We need you to subscribe, <laughs> but we really like the comments. Yeah. Comments to, you know, if we saying something wrong, man, say something about it. You know what I mean? All right. And we're going to end this again. <laughs> See you on the next video. Peace out, y'all. Bye. <laughs>